On a recent trip to Pennsylvania to visit a friend of mine, we spent a night camping in a town called Galton. While we were in the area, we got to check out a state park I had never heard of before called Colton Point State Park. After doing some research, I found out that this was one of Pennsylvania's most well-known state parks and a surprisingly beautiful place. So I whipped out my camera, captured some footage of our day, and figured I'd make a video out of it. It won't be very long, so my apologies for a bit of a shorter video than usual. But if you were like me and didn't know this really cool spot, allow me to guide you through it. As I mentioned, Colton Point State State Park is located near the town of Gilton in the northern part of the state. It's situated in the Allegheny Mountains, a subrange to the Greater Appalachian Range. The park protects Pine Creek Gorge, a river canyon often referred to as the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania. A lot of people will call places the Grand Canyon of something or another, but here it's actually an official name, similar to the Grand Canyon of the Yellowstone in Wyoming. The Pennsylvania Grand Canyon stretches for over 45 miles with a maximum depth of 1,450 feet. At Colton Point State Park, the depth is closer to 850 feet but this is easily where you're going to find the most spectacular overlooks of the canyon. Within the state park, you can visit the west or east rim. Although the east rim is more established and home to a visitor center, the west rim is widely considered to have the best views, which is why we chose to visit that one. Our visit wasn't very long as we had other things planned during our time in Gilton, but we still got to check out a few overlooks and a hiking trail. Pine Creek Overlook was hands down my favorite because it really encapsulates the canyon and the river. It's always amazing to stand at a place like this and imagine how water was able to carve its way through the landscape there by creating a canyon. Another thing I noticed during our time here was that the trees were getting ready to change for the fall season. I didn't expect anything this early into October, but as you can see, there were a number of trees that were already yellow. I imagine if you hit this place at the right time in mid to late October, it could be absolutely incredible. While I was on the East Coast, I took the opportunity a few weeks later to see fall colors in Vermont and Massachusetts, so stay tuned for that. Just up the road from Pine Creek Overlook, there's another view of interest that gives a great look of the steep canyon walls lined with trees. The only downside with this view in a few of the others in the park is because of how deep the canyon gets, it can be hard to see the river. Something you could do from the other side is hike to the bottom of the canyon to the river itself, and I believe there's a small waterfall down there too. Perhaps if I ever came back here, I'd give that a go. There are a few hiking options around here too, and the one we did was 1.3 miles out and back to another beautiful overlook. This can be found at the Barber Rock Trailhead. It's a pleasant walk through the woods to start before ending at the most unique viewpoint in the park. This one is a close runner up to Pine Creek Overlook because of the fact that the river winds its way through the canyon like a snake. It looks really cool in person and the river is more vivid too. Walking away from Colton Point State Park, I was reminded of a place I visited last year that I thought shared a lot of similarities. That place is New River Gorge National Park in West Virginia. The two main differences are one, New River Gorge is a whole heck of a lot larger, but two, when we visited, there were very few leaves remaining since we went in November. Seeing how beautiful the Grand Canyon of Pennsylvania was with all the green and yellow makes me even more eager to get back to New River Gorge at some point in the future. With that being said, thank you all so much for tuning in to today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to Travel Dash so you don't miss the plethora of content we have on the way. Until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Bye guys.